Welcome back for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is something you can do in Photoshop when you're working with a lot of photo edits that helps sort of unify the colors of photo edits. Um, and I use this all the time when I'm uh, faking something into a photo or faking something out of a photo or combining multiple photos into one and I want their colors to look more similar. Um, and here, I'll, for an example, we're looking at uh, something that I'm working on for album art um, and the two elements here are the photographic young monks and then this rendered chunk of land which are from two completely disparate elements and they don't look like they fit together just yet. Uh, what you do is first do all of your color adjustments to bring it as close to color correct as you can uh, and I've just quickly applied some levels and color balance to the render there to get it to look a little bit closer. Um, and I have a, a suspicion that this tip is not going to come through well on YouTube, what with video compression, but uh, give it a go for yourself and you'll be able to see the differences. Um, the tip is once you have your two things or three things or however many things um, edited together to as close as you physically can get them at the moment, I usually do this at the very end when I'm done just about ready to save everything off. Uh, what you do is you make uh, a separate layer, um, adjustment layer, and this only works in RGB, just FYI. Um, and you make a vibrance layer. And vibrance, um, you can see, is kind of like saturation, but at the same time it leaves a little bit of the color in there and the vibrance um, editor also has a saturation slider so I've found that one way to do this um, that helps unify colors across the whole photo is to actually turn the vibrance up and turn the saturation down um, now this seems kind of counterintuitive because they both do around the same thing but what this actually does is it's going to sap out um, some saturation in the exact same way across all of your edits and it's going to add some saturation slash vibrance back in a unified way across all of your edits and what that will do is it'll actually unify and kind of help that sort of disparate um, these don't look quite right thing that you get a lot of times like somebody would be like oh that tree stands out because it was photoshopped in or you know that flower doesn't look quite right um, if you use the, this sort of technique to merge the colors like that, you can actually see when you're done just by turning it on and off. And this is the part I don't think you're going to be able to see too well uh, on a YouTube video. But even just very slight adjustments where you crank up the vibrance and turn down the saturation, or even in some instances turn up the saturation and turn down the vibrance, um, just by turning that layer on and off, you'll be able to see that uh, you really are sort of pulling the color palette from all your edits together. Uh, and it helps just sort of put that final level of polish on any photo edits that you're doing. So that's the tip. Um, apologies if it's not terribly obvious what it's doing here. It's one of the ones you're probably going to want to try yourself. Uh, but if you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. And hope it was helpful.